Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis. In this video, let me explain how to use Angular in memory API and NGX mask in Angular 17 standalone template. For these two topics, already I have created the separate video using normal model based template. But when we are moving this standalone template, the configuration point of view, we will have some changes that I am going to cover in this video. So let me go to my application. Okay, this is my created standalone Angular 17 application and I have created two services. One is data service and another one is the master service. Okay, so the next thing is I am going to install the package for this Angular in-memory API. So once we finished this Angular in-memory API, we can move on to the NGX mask. Okay, the installation gets completed. Next, let me move on to the data services. So here I am going to implement in memory DB service. So here we can remove this override and then these parameters. So inside this uh, create DB, we can return our object. So these are the common steps. So even this model based template also, we followed the same thing. So next we can create the endpoint. Here I am adding some static data. Okay. Okay, we have completed our data service. So the next thing is we need to register this uh, data service. Okay. So if you are using the model based template, so we can import the HTTP client in memory web API model in our app dot model. So in this standalone template, we have this app config only. Okay. So so in this app config section, we can see this provider. So here I'm going to include import provider form. And then we can include our HTTP client in memory web API model. In this forward section, we can include our data service. Okay. Okay, this is fine. The next thing is we have to access the API endpoint from our services. So for that, I'm going to import the HTTP client. Okay. And if you are using the HTTP client in this model based template, we supposed to import the HTTP client model. So in this model based template, we have to use provide HTTP client. Okay. For this example, we are not using any interceptors. So if you have any interceptors, we can include it here. Okay. So now let me save this one. For verifying this one, I am going to use one get all method. And then our endpoint APA products. Okay. And if needed, we can create the model class also. You can ID number, name string, and then description, and the final one is price. Okay, so now we can use the exact data type also. So, next in our component side, let me use the constructor. Also implementing the ng on in hook. So, so in this constructor, let me inject our master service. Then we can call our service here. Okay. So we can subscribe this one. So then only we can access the data. And whatever data is coming and let me include in the console only okay 
So if you already watched my uh, Angular in memory APA with the model based template, so there is the only change. So that we did in our app.config only, okay? Other things are same only. We can just verify whether we are able to access the data. Okay, so in this example, I'm just using one of the get method. The same way if you want to use the put, post and delete methods, follow my previous video, okay? Anyway, I will include the description in the link. Okay. So the designing point of view, we not did any changes. We can check in the console for the data. Okay, we are getting the error. Okay, let me check the providers once again. Okay, the order also needed, okay. So the first thing is we have to use the provide HTTP client. Okay, see now. So, okay, now we are able to fetch the data from our API. So using this data, we can bind a table or a list based on our requirement only. So next we can see this uh, NGX mask, okay. For this NGX mask also, the first thing is we need to install the packages. So NGX mask, so let me copy these packages and application in this running mode. So let me stop and install the packages. Okay, the installation is completed. The first change is from our app config. So here let me include the provider provide environmental ngx mask okay so after that in our component side so in this component also a standalone component so it's having this import section here i'm going to include this ngx mask directly okay so let me save this one also parallelly running and we can see the output Okay, this is our default template. I'm going to remove all the items except our router outlet. Now for this current scenario, the router outlet also not needed. But I'm just keeping for doing the next exercise. For verifying this mask, so let me use one input control. and then adding this mask okay let me save this one so if i'm typing something it is simply formatting okay okay our mask is working and also i'm having some more examples let me include So the first one is number and our phone number also working then salary okay this is working fine so the same way we can use the different types of mask in our standalone template also okay so only difference when i'm comparing to this model based template the configuration changes that we have done from our app.config okay now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box so in this standalone template most of the features are having the configuration changes so that's what i have created the separate video so if required i have included that video link also in the description thank you thanks for watching